First thing I'll talk about is sighting. When you get to a site, so obviously imagine you've got it on the car now. Yeah. When you pull it up to, onto your pitch, most sites will be level. Okay. But you'll find some, especially if you're on a farmer's field or anything like that, you'll find that you could be leaning on an angle left to right. Okay. If you're on a lean left to right, the way to level that is underneath the wheels. Okay. So stick it where you want it, use a spirit level or something inside, okay. have a look which side's leaning, and then stick a couple of planks or something underneath it's the wheels. Like yeah, like some okay. scaffolds or something yeah. like that's the idea, let's see. And then always, if you can, reverse it backwards and drive it onto the wood. Yeah. If you can't, you can reverse it up, but you may find that the brake will push in when this pushes on, you see. Uh, right. So you may struggle a bit to push it on, but just, just see how you get on. But once you've got it level left to right, under yeah. the wheels, front to back's all done off the jockey wheel on the front end. Okay. The jockey wheel's just as easy as winding up and down. Right. As easy as that. But I'll talk more about that, because I'll hook it onto the car and everything at the, at the end anyway yeah. for you. So, obviously it's got four legs on the caravan. Some people will try telling you that the legs are there to level the caravan, they're not. Okay. But they're just there to stabilise it. So, so don't be winding the legs up to lift the wheels off the floor. You need to yeah. level it under the wheels first, okay. and then the front to back off the jockey wheel. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Up. Right. So then on the front end, the Alco hitch at the front. This is your stabiliser hitch. Okay. So what this does when it closes down, you see it closing in. Yeah. So what that does is two pads inside there which grip onto your tow wheel, so it adds extra stability. Instead of you know the good old days you see a caravan swaying yeah, away, yeah. But this stops that, so it gives you extra stability okay. when you're towing. And then obviously underneath you've got your main hitch. And then this is your breakaway cable. So your breakaway cable, I'll show you how to attach it. What this is designed for, if you ever do come detached, yeah. this pulls the handbrake on, snaps off the car, so that you can detach yourself from each other, the caravan brakes all applied, okay. and then fingers crossed it doesn't end up in a head or anything. Right. There, there is a safety okay. bridge. Yeah. Right, the handbrake on the caravan is just as easy as, handbrake off, yeah. handbrake off. That. If you're on a slight downhill or forward slope, yeah. it will um, automatically pull itself on further. So if it shoots up to back here, don't worry about it, it's just the more tension that the brakes need to stop the caravan from moving. Right. Okay, and then obviously jockey wheel, so there's winds up and down on there, and then you can raise it up and down on the side one as well. But I'll show you more of that when we're hooking it up onto the car. Okay. And then the last one on the front end is just your power. So this does all your lights and also the power for inside for your fridge and bits and bobs like that. So we'll test all that and everything out. Right, so your gas coming in the front here. So you've got position for two bottles. This is your bottle, we've already fit, fit you in. Yeah. And you, they've given you a rather posh uh, pigtail on here. So okay. you don't need a spanner or anything, it's yeah. literally just hand tight. It okay. says open and close on there. All you literally do is just tighten it up by hand. No need for a spanner or anything. So that's all in fitted. Now, gas regulators on board on this. And this is a gas shot valve here. But the best way of switching your gas on and off is just simply on the bottom. Um, the gas shot up here is more for the um, the gas testers and things and the testing the gases. Should this be that's open? Yeah, so that's open. Yeah so, that's open. yeah, so when it's in line with the pipe, yeah. that means it's open. And then when it's turned, so when you're travelling, is it better to have that turned off? No, just leave it on. Leave it on yeah, the just literally just switch them off on your bottles. On off on that's that. it. Yeah, got yeah. Right. See, see. Um, the cover here for the grate, the cut off bit, is a gas escape, so try not to cover that up, don't put a bag or anything stupid like that over it. Yep. That's just in case you do ever have a gas leak or anything, the you. gas can escape down because the gas is heavier than yep. the oxygen. And then in the front here we've obviously got your power cable, yep. your waste pipe, leg winder, and then also a wheel brace as well. Right, okay, again. and then your two toilet chemicals. Right. Well, these are what you... Yeah, so this is your leg winder. Yeah. This is your leg winder for doing your legs up and down. And then this is for your wheel. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll show you more of that. Well, I'll show you bits and bobs of that afterwards. You've got yeah. plenty of time with me, so uh, I'll have you a caravan expert by the end. I've only been doing it three months myself, so oh, yeah. don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. I'm yeah. into it. Picked it up, man. Yeah, right. Truma, this is the vent for your heating and your hot water system. Okay. So your heating and your hot water will run on gas electric or gas and electric. Yeah. So on some older models, there's things you have to remove or anything, don't worry about it, it just sits there and it does its job. There's no covers to take off or anything. The only thing to watch when you have got it on, a fair bit of heat will come out of it yeah. when it's pumping, so try not to lean anything up against it or anything. Okay, right, legs on the front. That's your one leg there, so yeah. forget your leg winder out. Right? Oh, actually, no, I don't want to break yours out of the packet, I'll let you do that. Hmm. So that will just uh, lift and uh, drop it down? Yeah, so this is just stabilising the caravan. Yeah. But it is just literally as easy as slots on. Yeah. And then winds down. Oh, and then you know, drop in and then yeah. obviously 
Just make sure before you travel in that you wind it all the way back up like that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So your front ones are both on the front side. Yeah. On the two sides. Okay. So next one down. So this is your water. So this is your water for the caravan. Acarol. This is mine. But you have got a lovely Acarol there in your starter pack. Lovely. So it's um, 40 litres of water. Uh, and to attach your water pipe is just pull the trigger underneath and it just pops off. Yeah. And then it simply just clips in. Yeah. And then all you have in the bottom here is just a filter on the bottom of your pipe. So all you do is you simply push that down into your water. So that's, that's water to go into the tap shower? So this is all your water inside yeah. the caravan. So this stirs obviously for all your hot water, for your cold running water, yeah. for your shower. Right. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So then, next time, so we've got your leisure battery now. This is your battery all in and fitted for you. Brilliant. So this is what powers uh, the 12 volt system in your caravan. Yeah. So virtually everything runs out of this battery. Yeah. What the 240 plug-in does is recharge this battery. Right. So you can operate without your 240 in, but what so you find is- So that's what's in the front there, is it? I've won the yeah, yeah, front. that's what's right. in the front there for you. Okay. So everything, as I say, everything runs out the battery, yeah. but your 240's there to, to recharge up your battery. Okay. And then also your 240's there for your plug sockets and bits and bobs inside. So right. you, can, you can operate without your 240 being plugged yeah. in, but you just have to watch it because you'll soon flatten that battery. Oh uh, yeah, what's, what's the life of them really, say if you're in there? Like one night, a weekend, it, is it? Or? <laughs> it depends on how much you pull off it. Yeah. As daft as it is, they say for like 110 amp battery, will last 110 hours if you're pulling one amp off it. Right. If you get what I mean. So if you've got yeah. one light on, yeah, yeah, you'll find it'll last a while, but if you've got everything kettle switched on. Uh, well, the kettle and yeah. microwave and things like that, if it's a plug, like yeah. your, your plugs at home, will only work on the 240, because right. there's not enough power in the 12 volts to run okay. plugs and things. But I'll talk more about what runs it when I'm showing you sockets and yeah. that, so it'll probably make more sense to you. So yeah, as I say, so 240, so this is your mains hook up. Yeah. To pop that on and off is just as easy as it just slides out. Yeah. And then you see it's just got the little groove and that's where it pops in and you simply just push it up. Brilliant. As easy as that. Yeah. Right, the black thing here, this is the isolate for your motor mover. Yeah. So obviously your motor mover which is here on your wheels. It's yeah. so obviously the remote control for moving it around. Again, I'll show you more of that afterwards. Okay. Okay, happy with everything there? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, so yeah. keep coming down. So as I say, this is obviously your motor mover, but I'll talk more about that afterwards. Yeah. Toilet. So, hang on two seconds, let me just grab the keys. <laughs> so, have you ever used a toilet like this before? Have you ever even seen one? No. No, <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so this is when we get to the right key. Right, so in the top here is a flush tank. Okay. So um, you put your pink liquid and some water in the top one. So uh, that just runs straight into a tank? Then, yeah, so. yeah, there's just a small tank in there. It's about a five litre tank, I think okay. it is. Yeah. Um, you literally put some of the pink liquid, but if you read the dilutions yeah. on the bottle, yeah. and then some water in. And what this is, is a separate tank for flushing the toilet. Okay. So rather than it using up your water that you want for um, cooking or washing yeah. or anything yeah. like that, and it uses its own tank in here. Okay. So pink liquid and water in the top there. It's ideal to have a jug or a, a bottle or something with you. Yeah. Because you'll find if you're trying to tip something like an Acarol up, you'll never get it in there. No. But if you've got a little smaller bottle or something. Sort so of it's, a mix, it's a mix there and you just fill it up. Yeah, yeah. So all it is, imagine you're flushing your toilet at home. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like dropping something in your system at the top. So it's a I nice smelling and yeah. antibacterial yeah. in the top. So. so is there a level on there? No, like, no. Like literally, you, you can just like... fill it up to the top. I got you. The main advice is don't drive around with it full. Yeah. Because you'll find it'll end up sloshing either in here yeah. or inside. And if you get it on your carpet now, yeah, it, is, yeah, yeah. it is quite hard to get out. Okay. But I'll show you how you can drink. Like Antwerp again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is your cassette okay. down below. So this obviously lives underneath quite blatantly your toilets here, yeah? Inside. Yeah. yeah. So anytime you use the toilet, this is where it all goes in this grey cassette below, yeah? Okay. Right, so to pull it out, you just lift up the orange handle yeah. and it just slides straight out. Okay. And then it is, if you lift the orange handle up, here's a lovely trolley dolly as well. So when you're emptying out your, uh, your business in there, it's <laughs> shut in. Yeah. So if you imagine when it's in there, yeah. what it does is this opens up when you slide it in, you'll hear it slide. 
what that does is open it up in there, so all the mass so yeah, 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 when it slides in, it automatically opens it up for you. So I'll show you how to open it in the toilet. You have to manually open it. But when you slide this in, there's nothing else you need to do about this. You open and close it from the inside. Just don't, don't mistake it for your suitcase when you go on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see someone take it through customs. Anything to declare. <laughs> right, so this is the cap that you use to empty it, okay, yeah. and also to fill it up. So in here yeah. goes blue solution. Okay. So that's the blue, the blue liquid in here. A neutralizes the smell, yeah. and B starts to break down all the goodies that are in it as right, well. Gotcha. Susan, take note. It's for your job. <laughs> yeah, life's job. So there is a slight measuring cup on there for the pink for the blue liquid to go mm. in it. It's not an exact science, just a glug of liquid, a oh, glug so of blue. Well, you pour the liquid in there, do you? You can, you can do, you can do. Yeah. Experienced caravanners, you'll notice they just glug some in it. Then they can tell how much it's got. Yeah, yeah and it's not, it's not an exact science. All it is is some blue chemical in there and some yeah. water to help start to break down the nasty bits. And obviously, okay. once you've got it, you just screw it back in, turn it That's over, it. and you can slide it back in. Right, when it comes to emptying it. Yeah. <laughs> So obviously you go and find <laughs> wherever they empty it, there'll be a pit somewhere yeah. where you empty it. All you literally do is unscrew your cap, yeah. don't put it on the wall next to you, because yeah. what you end up doing is knocking it in with your arm, and if you fancy climbing <laughs> down with your shit, you can get it back out. Like. So I'll stick, stick it on the ground next to you, yeah. and then all you literally do is tip it up and yeah. press the button on the back. What was that button to release? This is an air release inside, oh, so, so it flow. opens up an air valve. Because <laughs> otherwise you'll be there going, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so you literally press that and go, whoop, 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 and it'll It's the fart button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. right, okay with that then? Yes, brilliant, yeah. 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 So that's to empty and fill. Yeah, so empty. in there you put, just put blue solution or blue solution and a bit of water? Yeah, blue it? solution and a bit of water. Bit of water. But if you yeah. read on the bottles that, that you get, mixed, depending, yeah. there isn't a set way because all the chemicals are slightly different, yeah. but it's the same concept of so yeah. much blue liquid, a drop of water, and then all it does is just start breaking up and down mm -hmm. in there. Right, winter time. So when it comes to winter, you need to drain any tanks or anything out of yeah. here. So sitting in the top nicely there, is your rubber hose. Now this is connected to your, drain, your flush tank up there. Right, okay. So to drain it off, all you simply do is just pull the bung out, and as you can see, there's already water in it already. Should you be flushing anything from the top then? Any um, chemicals? No, no, no not really. You, you'll need to stick some pink liquid. Our guys have put some water in it for now just to test yeah. it, but you'll need to add some pink solution into this when you're planning on using it. All right, so what comes out of What's in there comes out of there. Yes, so yeah. So I this is the drain right. off of this tank in here. So okay. when you need to drain it out, all you simply do you. is, as you say, pull the bung out and yeah. you drain it off. What I tend to do is keep a bottle, pull it off, drain it into a bottle, yeah. and then wherever I next go, I know all I need to do is just slug some I liquid in there, and then you're ready to use your toilet. There we are. Spot on. Okay. Yeah. But it is important every winter, as soon as you're not going to use the van over winter, yeah. is to make sure you drain all the fluids yeah. out of it. Okay. Okay. And then that just lives in the little plastic casing just above the top there. Perfect. Right. Okay. Turn it back in. You'll love that job. It's fantastic. <laughs> right, below it here, so these are your waste outlets. So I'll show you yeah. your waste pipe in the front. So your waste master, that's the big tall one in the trolley there. Yeah. That slides, your pipe slot into there and then you slide the waste master underneath with the pipes in it. Okay. Now, that's 40 litres. Your yeah. waste master holds about 45 litres. Right. So what you'll find is, if your water tank's empty, yeah. your waste tank will be full. Okay. So you'll see when you get to a site, people are trundling along one hand with an Aperol in and the other yeah. hand with a waste master in. So they'll be filling that and emptying the waste? Yeah. I yeah. gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. Okay. So, okay, so that goes in that end and all yeah. the other waste will also filter through to there to go into the big, uh, yeah. Wa big waste, waste master. master. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So don't get them confused because obviously that's your fresh water. This is, this is your dirty water. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> the main thing is you talk about your toilet and everything yeah. separate. Okay. So all your toilet is just this. Yeah. Your grey pipes underneath are just for your sinks so and your showers. There's two pipes here. Where they yeah. go? Uh, two of them or just one? Yeah, two. So you'll see there's a T on yours. So yeah. obviously you push the two in and then it goes down to the one. So you just oh, put the, the one in two. Right, okay. 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 So I think that's all that on the front do Yeah. yeah. Right, first cupboard down, so to open your cupboards is just push the buttons in yeah. and open it down. So this is your first cupboard, it's obviously underneath your bunk beds this one is. Yeah. It does give you extra storage space. The main thing is just put light things in here, right. you don't really want yeah. to be travelling. Anything you have got that's really heavy, you're better off sticking it in the car, in the car. than you are. Okay, if, yeah. you find, if you're putting heavy things in the back here, you'll find it'll tow like a... Um, yeah. 
well, a dead slug or something along them lines. It won't tow nice. As long as you keep the weight balanced in it, you won't have a problem towing yeah. it. But if you put a lot of weight either on the arse end or on the front end, you won't yeah. find it will affect the way it tows down the road. Right. Okay. Job done. So, round the back. Nothing particularly exciting. Apart from your two rear legs, if you look, the back legs are on the back end. Okay, so I've already got your back legs down, it just adds stability to the caravan. Obviously, if your legs yeah. aren't weighing down, you'll find it does rock and roll a lot. Yeah. Obviously, your lights and everything on the back. Now, these here are brackets for a bike rack.